Hello and welcome back to Sky Bees. This is, uh, I think episode 19. Uh, last episode we were working on, uh, getting these apiaries and getting all that set up. And, uh, yeah, I got them all, uh, built. Uh, this one I'm still, I still need a, a, uh, apiary for. I'm low on grass, but, uh, yeah. These are awesome. These uh, make uh, bee management so much easier, and they just produce massive amounts of materials. In fact, so many materials I can't even I can't even process them all at the moment. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, it's quite crazy. Uh, I I need to tear this thing down and get all these bees out of there. But uh, yeah. So what else did I do? I've done a lot. Um, what side's it on? I set up that fishing device we had. Uh, the marine fisher got that working uh we have massive amounts of fish now like 1000 uh, puffer fish some tropical fish tons of fishing poles we'll have to disenchant uh, uh i think we have finally got the squid ink finally uh comes from here so that's that's uh, one of the first things we're going to do is get the quantify key here in a few minutes uh, after I show everything. Uh, what else did I do? I started messing around with changing the center. Uh, then I realized I was off by one. As you can see, I'm trying to make it like an X. So the mini map was kind of cool looking, but uh, yeah, so I'm going to have to shift everything on that side over by uh, one space and then to fix that at some point. So that's that. Uh, let's see. I started moving some of the machines out of this main area. Uh, another thing we're going to work on is getting uh, the new centrifuge. Uh, so we can make an elite one now. I believe I have all the parts to make a, an elite one, I think. I think I have enough blocks of, <laughs> of netherite, uh, hopefully. <laughs> I'll have to check on that uh, or wait more time. Uh, yeah, we have four, four, four point five k, uh, stacks of that, or blocks of that, so we're good there. So I moved all the junk out of here. Um, uh, yeah, all those uh, trees and stuff that I had going on. Uh, let's see, then I mo I set up this area down here. I got automated uh inscriptor for processors, so the silicon pressed pressed silicon. And then uh, this is for inscribing the different uh, processors. Uh, I don't think I have. Uh, I have. It just feeds the items as they're available in the system. I couldn't get it. I couldn't get the crafting thing here to work on it. So that's how that works. Uh, I had to upgrade the power a few times. Now we have blazing mag uh, magma tours, uh, a hardened furnator, a blazing furnator. I didn't even remember adding that one. And then we have uh, some thermo cable, uh, thermo generators running on a bla uh, block of blazing crystal. I changed up my, uh, I kind of automated the smelting kind of stuff that I was doing. So yeah, it, we're uh, we're resource starved at the moment. And then I set up an auto auto crafter for uh, hot bricks. And then I move this over here and just dumping all the latex into a, a box if we ever need it again. And then, yeah, so I ran out of disk space at some point and I was like terribly, uh, terribly <laughs> in a pickle. Uh, so I had, I had actually made my uh, 1024K disk so I could actually use the system. But uh, this is kind of cool. So this is, uh, this is a industrial squeezer. It takes uh, seeds, crushes them down, and it turns it into uh, plant oil. And then it feeds into this refinery, which takes in uh, what plant oil and what is this one over here? I'm out of I'm out of materials, I guess, for those. They're not generating enough on the uh, the other level. So this take this one here is the industrial fermenter. It takes in uh, sugar cane and potato, turns it turns that into ethanol, feeds that into the refinery, so you get ethanol in the plant oil, and that comes out as uh, biodiesel. Biodiesel inside of a dissolution chamber will uh, let you craft the advanced uh, casing, or storage, whatever it is called. There we go. So that'll uh, 
that'll turn that not, literally the only reason these three machines exist is to get biodiesel because it is like the only way to get biodiesel that i that i found uh at this current level uh biodiesel yeah refinery is the only thing that generates it so yeah plant oil uh plus ethanol is biodiesel so i didn't tear it down these are multi-block structures they're kind of uh kind of com complex to make so i just left them and then that gives us an advanced storage housing uh which i'm almost ready to upgrade to i think the 4096 <laughs> drive uh at this point uh so that's kind of cool just put that in the uh, storage what else uh i made an infinity wand which is uh pretty sweet it's just another star and two sticks and it lets you uh place 100 10 24 blocks down in a single uh a single um uh click so i was using it to make platforms and stuff and let's go down the level so i moved all my storage down here for the uh for the non uh on uh, disk drive based stuff. So all the carrots and all that crap's down here. And it's just feeding into, uh, I use these trims to link them all together to uh, draw a drawer controller. A drawer controller can uh, read 12 drawers that way, 12 drawers that way, 12 drawers that way. And so like this 25 by 25 cubish structure. So it's kind of nice. Uh, so I'm kind of just building that one out. And then I have a second storage controller over here, back there somewhere, connected to all the things that can combine up and kind of compress. So all the honeycombs, all the ores, all the, uh, all the stuff. And that's just try to get stuff out of the, the drive system uh, as much as possible, just so that I can <laughs> eventually take out the drives and upgrade them easier. Uh, and then this whole floor is just going to be storage and I'm trying to get more, uh, more trees down here so I can get, have a hot more, more wood. Uh, that's kind of a bottleneck sticks are my bottleneck for turning all the honey I get into, uh, into, uh, uh, more processors and stuff to make more drives. I need like, it's like a hundred thousand drives or something like that. I mean, not drives, but one K little, uh, one K drives to make the final drive so <laughs> it's gonna take a while so i'm just trying to preset all that up and so today i think i want to go with the uh centrifuge elite that's uh the plan i have uh what is this one i have two two machines here that i want to do uh i think one's this crusher and one is the arc furnace um because we need steel grit to do uh, something. I can't remember what it was at this point in time. So let's go ahead and start crafting this elite uh, centrifuge thing. So the elite centrifuge controller is blocks of netherite plus, uh, what is that? Elite casings. So we need elite casings first. So let's go, let's just make this a pattern. Let's just make this easier for us. So what is this? This is netherite brick. So let's do this one first. That'll give us that. That'll give us that. I think I already pre-made these. The centrifuge casing, <laughs> centrifuge casings take uh, a little bit of time to actually make uh, in the. Uh, what is it called? This orb thing over here. I kind of, I found on the discord a way to kind of automate it. And it's such that the crafter will only spit items. And when it gets a red, redstone signal, using a comparator and two repeaters and some redstone. So that's from the, the discord for the, for the guy who made this power pack. So that kind of worked out really well. I was able to, uh, since it takes a while, like two or three minutes for one of those, I was able to kick them all off before I went to bed and they woke up and they were all crafted. All right, so we got the netherite ignit uh, in the casing. So the casing is that, so that's good. And then we want an elite one, which will need the box of nether stone, or nether, uh, that's the wrong one. Uh, this one is the blocks, so that should be, let's get the block going here. 
should give us everything, right? That'll be made. Those are all sub sub combines. All right, so we got this controller, netherite casing. Okay, let's pop these in. Looks like we're running out of room. I'm gonna have to build more crafters. Jeez. Uh, let's see here. We can take out. What can we take out? That like breaks breaks everything. <laughs> here, let's just build another crafter right quick. And I uh, I wish these crafters had more uh, more space in them. They're uh, quite quite small. There we go. So there we go. That's done. So we want where's the controller? We want one controller. Let's kick that off. We're missing a centrifuge controller. Okay, that's one we didn't think of. So let's add that to the list real quick because we're gonna I'm gonna be making a ton of these things. Uh, to try and process this backlog of uh, honeycomb. I got like hundreds and hundreds of thousands of honeycomb at this point. Uh, centrifuge controller looks good. And we'll drop those in there. All right, elite controller. Here we go. And it looks like it's going to need to control click and craft all that stuff. Start that. All right. Had me <laughs> do a lot of things. Okay, did we get one? Where is it? Cinch. There, there's an elite casing. Did it not actually craft it? Here, let's craft it now. There we go. We got that. And we need, I think, 35 or 36 of these mass production. I'm not sure where these other advancements come from. So we need 35 of those. So let's go to that one. These should, should craft really quick. 35. We got all the materials. There we go. Just wait a few seconds. Kind of watch it over here as it goes. Uh, it's fairly quick. It's, it's like three days of AFK to gather all these materials, pretty much. All right, we got that. Where are they? Centrifuge casing. There we go. Quest complete. So we finished that line and to get to the tier three of this is going to be these are insane amount of materials right so i was just like oh just another star but then it's like you have to build uh, four of each of the previous tiers so it kind of balloons up really quick and we're we almost have all the uh, honeycombs like salt and elementium and a few others that we're missing we'll eventually get all those all right, where are we? We're gonna build this downstairs. I'm just gonna put it right here, I believe. Uh, let's put the light there. Okay. So this is a three by three by four. So it's four high and uh, three wide. So what is this thing? This is my this is my clay making device. Okay. So let's just go right here. One, two, three. And there we go. And then the controller. Oh my god, this does so much more than the other one. Holy crap. Oh wow. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh let's get this thing started here. So we need a point to give it power. And the cool thing about these blocks is they uh, they will take power from any of the directions. So you just pop it anywhere you want. You should do it on the back. Just like that. Put it on the network. Hopefully we have enough power. If not, we're going to immediately jump into a different, uh, <laughs> a different uh, situation. All right. Cable. 
So let's grab some cables and we need an exporter. So we can export our stuff. And we're going to need an importer to take the stuff out. There we go. And I've I've gone through and wired all the way around the uh, the base, so it's everything's kind of good. So we're gonna put the importer right there, exporter right there. Oh wait, I don't want it on that row. I'm gonna try to and encapsulate the whole thing in glass at some point. All right, so let's do honeycomb. All right, let's do Blaze. Oh, it, we can't do Endermen uh, or the Ender ones in the normal uh, the, in these because they generate so much Dragon Breath that it's just like annoying to uh, try to deal with that. Uh, steel. Let's do. I don't really need any more Nether Stars at the moment. Let's do that one. Rubber. Sorry, I'm trying to think of what I actually need. Let's do mana steel. Netherite. Let's see how many that gets us. So we need to go to the importer and then we just uh, tell it what we want. I'm going to set this up as a uh, different system later on where I'm kind of pulling everything into a box just to get it out of the main system. That worked out just right. And all right, it's got power. It's got power. Why is, why is it not working? Oh, uh, probably needs a way to get the honey out. Oh, what is this? Essence. I need another one. So these quantum tanks are like the best thing I've ever, I've ever used. They they hold like unlimited wa uh, liquid, and they're like really cheap to make, which is really good to just solve this whole uh, uh, issue with uh, honey, because the honey is quite uh, quite a pain actually. So let's do this, extract honey out still didn't kick off why are you not working oh son of a gun i put them all in the wrong one <laughs> uh, the exporter exports it from your system and the importer imports it into your system that's what the issue was there there we go and as you can see, that cable in its current state cannot keep up with what is going on. So I have stack upgrades and speed upgrades. So we're going to do, where's this one? I'll do two stack upgrades and two speed upgrades. And we'll do the same on the bottom one. That should destroy everything there we go it's just coming in everything's gonna get processed in a quick and timely manner and there we go we got our first elite centrifuge up an atom and good to go so let's drop all that stuff back off there we go uh what do we need to do now let's go ahead and let's build the crusher thing so we need that for something. I can't remember. It's like it's the only way to get iron steel grit, which is used for something. So we need the crusher first. Let's go ahead and make it simpler uh, design. Where is my book? There's my book and my hammer. Hopefully I have everything already. And I've been kind of putting all my industrial foregoing uh, or no immersive, submersive engineering, right? Yeah, immersive engineering stuff over here, so it's kind of a, a little spot for it. Okay, heavy machine crusher. So what I like to do for these things, because they, uh, 
They uh, have weird uh, designs, right? Come on. There we go. So you can see it like floor level by level. So you got the, uh, the six steel scaffolding and then one more and then the, two, the light. So it's pretty easy to build. Let's just build it like right here. So six of these, it's two of that, right? And then I just, I just swap back and forth between the book a lot. And then that goes like that. And then this goes there. He's right here. Did I build that right? One, two, three. Yeah, that's right. So then I just go up a level. So the redstone goes here. There's a light engineer behind it. And it looks like there's fencing around a light engineer. So we put the light engineer there. And we just do fencing all the way around. And then more light engineers over here. Go up one more and then nine hoppers. Nine hoppers. Being into this center apparatus here. I'm assuming it's uh, all these different points. There we go. And That's it. And we hit it on the center. Just right here in the center. There we go. And we have our crusher. So this thing is pretty cool. I'm guessing we're going to need conveyor belts. I didn't build it backwards, did I? It doesn't have a UI like most of the other ones, so... Uh, power, power, power. Where should I put the power? Where did I put it on this one? The blue input is where I've been putting power, so... Is there a blue input? It does not look like it, so maybe it does not have power. That's not the power spot. Oh, maybe it's on top. Nope. Nope. Maybe it doesn't take power, so... Let's check the book. Power supply to it, okay. Okay. Redstone goes to that red one. Yeah, it doesn't really show where the power goes. You can tell when the power works is the little stem of this power node comes on. There we go. The power node was right up here on top, so... There we go. Okay, so what's the what's the book say to do next? Depending on the power supply to it, redstone signal. Being How are like you're crushing ores? Every living being to fall on the machine will take grave damage. I guess you can use the crusher to kill uh, mobs, okay. All items that cannot be processed will be destroyed. Okay, is this an... How do you input this? <laughs> these, these machines are very, uh... They, like, you gotta look at them, right? This one had, like, pipes right here. So that was easy to tell. Is that a pipe? Yeah, see how it looks like a pipe and that? That one looks like something, but... I'm not quite sure. Because this one's all fluid. So it looks like something's coming out of here. Maybe it makes a fluid? It doesn't... It, the book should say more, right? I don't know. So we need to figure out how to get stuff into this thing. Let me go get... I have some uh, conveyor belts somewhere around here. Oh, what was that? Creeper? Jeez. It's a creeper on my bottom floor. Uh, I got one more. Extracting conveyor belt. That's not what I wanted. 
I guess I don't have anything else. All right. Is this thing attached to it? No, I don't think so. There's no way to input. Like, I don't know. These ones have an input, right? You give them input and it works, but this thing doesn't have any kind of UI that I can tell. So let's just do it naively. Let's make a hopper. Let's just need one. Put it right there. And I know steel is what I actually want. So let's get some steel. No, that's not even going to go in there. Uh, so steel grit. Where is it? Steel dust. Steel grit. Where'd it go? Right there. So steel grid goes into the furnace, but it has to be crushed, right? So where is the crusher recipes? I guess don't show on here, but this is how I figured out I needed a crusher because there was a crusher on one of these things for this stuff. I don't know. That's just so smelting. So that's not working. I guess we'll figure that out in a little bit. All right, let's drop all this back off. And let's go get the parts for the arc furnace and get that built real quick. All right, this one's a, probably the biggest one I've uh, biggest one I've seen. So we're gonna pretty much take up all this area right here for it. So uh, arc furnace, look at that thing. All right, stop. Come on, it's like. Some weird trick to get this thing to. There we go. So that's the first layer, which is kind of big, right? What is that? One, two, three, four, five. So it's a five by one, two, three, four, five, five by five. So we'll take right here. So we needed slabs first. So we're going to put a slab. A four by four of slabs. What the hell is that? Oh yeah, that's the steel block. I can't even make this thing. Yeah, that's, that's why I needed this. The crushed steel is because I need it for this item right here because Right here, if you mouse over this thing, you can see a uh, steel blo block of steel, right? And then if I go here and do block of steel. It's right here, which looks like a normal recipe, right? But right there, the steel ignit in the center is immersive engineering ignit, <laughs> which... Uh, doesn't look like something I can make because it needs steel grit there, steel grit there, uh, steel grit there, and steel grit there. So, yeah. So that's why I couldn't build this thing. All right, let me. Uh... Oh, come on, really? Always out of <laughs> always out of items. So those one, two, three, four. Or five and then put that right there. All right, let's just drop all this junk off because we can't actually do this. I forgot. But uh, that's probably uh, probably a good place to call it though, honestly. God. Oh, you know what? Okay, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. So the book tells you, right? It tells you if anything falls in, it's going to get crushed, right? So, that's how it works right there. 
Twitch came out with Steel Dust. <laughs> how do how do I get Steel Grid? <laughs> this is uh, frustrating. Actually, let's do this. I have a I have a hunch. That was a bad hunch. Where's that? I need a hopper. Make this easier. I'm thinking I can afford, I can just smelt this down maybe and I'll get the, what I need. There we go. That'll just work. What an interesting machine. <laughs> Once we get nine of it, we can see if it'll uh, smelt into the correct immersive engineering uh, ignit. All right, so we go over here to our smelters, uh, which are probably not actually working. Why are why are they not working? So this is exporting coal, charcoal. Let me see here. Wood. I have a bunch of logs. I don't know why they're not, uh. All right. You're gonna do this work for me. Okay. And all that can go back into the system. All right, we got a steel, <laughs> steel ignit from that. It does not look like it is any different. I think they're all in here now. So if I do add Im yeah, immersive, I don't see an actual steel ignit. All right, so what I'm going to have to do is figure out the grit. I think it might it might be with the uh, these old buildings we here we made. I think there might be uh, I might it might be that. I'll have to uh, I'll have to look and see. Or let me see if the book has it real quick. So resources, alloys. There's grit. How do you get grit? Ores? We probably did this earlier and I've already forgotten it. So, Coke oven. Coke oven. Maybe we need the Coke oven again. Steel. Mineral deposits, crafting components, no. Alloys. Mixing dusts, okay, that's... Hmm, excavator, what the... F All right, I don't think we need an excavator. <laughs> All right, so I'm I'm gonna do the do the research and figure this out, and then uh, next time we will finish up building the arc furnace and uh, whatnot. So uh, thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.